Hi guys! How you doing today? I'm Amsasser93 and we're gonna be starting Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I hope you guys are ready for a good Pokemon journey because I am. And it's gonna be a familiar one because, yeah, it's a remake of an old Pokemon game that I used to always play back in my middle school years. Oh man, I can't wait. This is gonna be a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna get to relive this. <clears throat> I'm looking quite forward to this. So, select lanes you want to play in. Of course, English. Hello there. So very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Hey, Professor Rowan! My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Hello, Munchlax. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop close bo closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Profile from the lineup. And you know me, I like to go with the canon names. His name is Lucas. Okay, so you're Lucas. Fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Barry. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? Alright, Lucas, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. <laughs> I'm sure that along the way you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. And away I... What the hell? If I get another error, I'm gonna be pissed. Thank God. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded depiction. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. Oh yeah. Gen 2. That concludes our special report. Search for the red Gyarados. Um, I think a trainer named Ethan caught that Pokemon and is using it on his team as we speak. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Oh my god, look at this. There's my bag, and I start with 8,000. And I get to walk in all directions. This is nice. A big, a big, like, slice of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to play the game. Lucas, Barry came calling for you a while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Thanks, Ma. Oh yeah, Lucas, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Um, what's theirs? Are those sandwiches? I'd like a sandwich. Thank you. Let me see what's in the fridge. Might grab me a bottle of water. <laughs> Favorite dessert in the fridge. Is it cheesecake? Because I like cheesecake. 
Hello, how are we doing? Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. Now, this little pond, this will be of importance to us. Well, I want to remember that. Hello. Did you hear the Pokemon professor returned to the next town over? They say he was gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Listen, listen, Lucas. I want a cute Pokemon. Eh, hey, you'll probably get one once you are old enough to be a trainer. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and turn off auto save because... <clears throat> What we have here? It's true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes. However, Pokemon law also lets you become friends with them. Very true. Very true. Very true. Very true. Oh, hi there. You have to hang with Barry again, right? You sh two sure are tight. Let me just tell you, that guy has a series of impatience. Watch him just come out of here. Yeah. What was that about? Oh, hey, Lucas. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too, and be quick about it. Okay, Lucas, I'm finding you one million if you're late. <laughs> oh, jeez. Forgot something. Let's just enter in here for a second. Oh, hi, Lucas. Are you looking for Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running back, right back in home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Probably his father. I better take my bag, my guidebook, too. Oh, hey, Lucas. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine if you're late. Ah, shut it. Always wanting to fine people because you want me to hurry up and get myself injured. Hi, Lucas. You looking for Barry? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after him? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me to thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna find a Pokemon like that. Uh Barry, you realize that Pokemon was in the Lake of Rage in the Johto region, and a trainer named Ethan caught that Pokemon? Oh, uh, but I don't think we either of us know about that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. And we're going to fail. Well, actually, there's shiny Gyarados, although they're very rare. You can find a shiny Gyarados very rarely in other places. That certain red Gyarados was in Lake of Rays. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out in the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we've seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm, there's one thing I could say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regards to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. What was that about, those two? Huh? Lucas, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go in the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Uh, just one step is all it takes, you know. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. It's... A briefcase? Most people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We could try to return it, but... Who were they? I heard them say... Professor. What? Pokemon? Yeah, what's going on? 
Oh, here's we are, the main event. Look at these are Pokemons. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want to choose? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. I think I'm done speaking. Anyways, what we have here are three Pokemon that we could choose from. Well, we could choose one of them, though. So, anyways, let's go ahead and check out what Pokemon we could get. First up, Turtwig. A pure grass type, which becomes a park ground type in his final evolution. This is actually a pretty decent grass type if you're looking for something that's kind of defensive, although more on the physical side, but also some good offense. Only real thing to look out for is that it is very slow. So let's say a good, like, attack that it's weak against and it might go down. Although it might be able to get another chance at battle. Unless it's like a critical hit from a very powerful attack. But anyways, this is this thing is slow, but it does make up, like I said, makes up for it for being being a decently defensive Pokemon, and also a pretty good physical attacker as well. And we'll be going over its evolutions like the other two later. Who do we have up next? Ah, <laughs> yes, my personal favorite of the Sinnoh starters. Chimchar! A pure fire type, which becomes a part fighting type once it evolves, not at its last stage of evolution. This thing is a double edged sword and is the fastest of the three starters. However, while it is fast and it's a good double edged st sword, it does offset a little bit with kind of a lack of defense like the other two have. Like a one good, like a good critically hitting attack that it would be weak against, and it's probably gonna go down. But we can forgive that quite easily because you equip it with any attack, and it'll do really good damage with it. So if you're looking for a good fire type, then right now might be a good time to pick this one up because. There's not very many fire types in the main game, especially for your brilliant diamond players. Keep a note on that one. Finally, who could forget the adorable Piplop? The cute, cuddly penguin. May start off cute and cuddly, but don't let its cuteness fool you. This thing is a gonna be a pretty good special attacker and a decent special wall as well especially in the layer stages of evolution like I said I forgot to mention moves from the other two Pokemon this this thing will definitely know some good attacks later on so we'll definitely get into more on that honestly you could do worse with this thing especially if it becomes a part steel type later on when it's at its final evolution this thing's a, just a tiny bit faster than Turtwig, but not as fast as Chimchar. But like I said, this thing will know some pretty good attacks, and you could also teach it some moves through TMs, which we'll get into later on. So. I took to Twitter and did a little bit of a vote on to see which Pokemon I should go with. I had three votes, and looks like the big winner here is Piplop. Hello, Starly. Piplop, get on out there. Oh no, you're growling at me. Whatever should I do? 
I'll just do that. Really? You're growling at me again? Jeez, what did I do to you to deserve that? Twelve experience? What a ripoff! Fwah! Your Pip-Up totally rocked! My Turtroid was way tougher than yours! They were other Pokemon- people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Busted. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what is the professor going to say? This is not so, this is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Lucas. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You go ahead. I know we have to ret go return these Pokemon. They're not ours, but I want to spend a just a little more time with this little guy. Let's take a look at the Piplup I have. So it's got a lax nature, so plus physical defense minus special defense. I'm kind of mixed with that one. So it's highly curious, so I need a pokey expert on this one. Can I get my running shoes now? That would be nice. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? <clears> hmm. <throat> I heard from Don that used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Pip up a Turtwig. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Um, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Lucas, we should go home too. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. I'm glad that both you and Barry are unharmed. The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Lucas, I think you, sh you need to visit him in Sand Gym Town. You need to properly explain why he had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I sure, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know, Lucas. Put these on. Hey, there's those running shoes. And when do I get my Pokey Radar? Pokey Radar brilliant time and I don't think I don't know if I'm getting it until later going to sand gym town is like an adventure in uh, itself right With those running shoes you can get to faraway places much faster okay let me read the instructions tilt the left stick firmly and fast and dash about faster than ever before put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure well isn't that just nifty <laughs> What's up? I got run shoes now. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna keep running. Okay, am I, am I healed up? Well, I haven't lost a single hit point. Hi, what's up? Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They come bursting out at any time. So if you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in the tall grass. You want to avoid wild Pokemon, stay out of the tall grass. Duh. If your Pokemon's health, is, its HP is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Ah, shit. 
Hi, I work at a Pokemon. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit ones HP for short? If your Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If it's Pokemon, it's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you some potions and samples. These ones are free. Oh my god, go into the bag special. Thank you for the potions. That ledge is a one-way jump. Jump down for a shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. Okay, I was gonna say. Okay! While we're right here, I think we could go ahead and discuss the two new Pokemon we could find in this area. Alright, shall we go ahead and discuss them? First up is this Pokemon right here. Starly. This is it's the normal flying type bird Pokemon that appears in Gen 4. And honestly, this is all around not a bad Pokemon. This thing is a pretty decent physical attacker and it does know some pretty decent moves like Aerial Ace and even Brave Bird later on. And we'll get to its evolutions like I said later on. Because when this thing evolves, it becomes a pretty refined normal flying type. So yeah, if you're looking for a good decent flying type to use on your team this thing's not a bad one to pick up right here right now although there's some other flying types you could use in in this journey the other Pokemon is Bidoof Bidoof pure normal type and this Pokemon is normally was normally meant to be used as an HM move user back in the old days when HMs used to be a thing however since we no longer have HMs being required for Pokemon to have with a special feature that lets you use HMs without the use of an HM move user, I don't think there's much good use for this for this Pokemon. Like I said, there are a lot better normal types out there. However, if you were to use one for your team, um, I probably would go with Moody, since at the end of every turn, a random stat would go up by a stage, which is its hidden ability, but if, you had to, if, you, if you're stuck with regular abilities, Simple is kind of a situational ability, and Unaware could be quite useful if your opponent's stats modded up. So I'd experiment, but like I said... Better normal types out there. Anyways, let's head to send ja San Jim Town. And I'm trying my best to do bios, but... Just bear with me, I'm not very good at them. And I was gonna say, with Starly's case, Kenai is a great ability. Plus, I wouldn't really go with Reckless, though. So anyways, oh, there you are. <coughs> Please come with me. The professor's waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. Ace, Mr. Impatient. How we doing? What the? Oh, it's you, Lucas. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah, it doesn't matter, Lucas. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. <laughs> Right? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Hey, Professor Rowan, how are you today? <sighs> Finally, you've come, Lucas, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Pip up to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? I will not. I'm never a nickname type guy. Your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it's still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Pip up. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. 
My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh world. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokemon. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to, the re to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? I'll do my best. Hmm, good answer. Thank you for the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Lucas, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you're when you walk up walked up 201 Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? Okay. Okay, I think stuff's been good. I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in the world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Lucas, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chimchar at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Ah, you would have had a Turtwig. Not that it matters, but... Anyways, I'm done. I also helped the Pokemon professor add pages to the Pokedex, so in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Lucas. Hey. I'm Don's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the profess for the Pokedex. <laughs> eh, I'm sure we can count on you. I read that too fast. Professor Rowan invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a Poke Professor from the Kanto region. Oh, we know, we all know that Kanto Professor really, really well. <coughs> okay, Lucas, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the Poke Professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red hoof is the Pokemon Center. I know how to play the game! Ah, you won't forget it. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. <sighs> the building with the blue roof over here is a Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Lucas, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. I got 8,000 money right now. 8,000 Poke Dollars. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Lucas. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you, sh you should let someone know. Okay, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. I'm gonna go ahead and buy 20 Pokeballs. And two Premier Balls! <laughs> Yay! It's time I begin my Pokemon journey. Let's go!